Hey guys, this is Jess with another video. In this video, I'm going to be covering how to change the launch address for various different application um, buttons in a Dreamboard theme. So if you're in a Dreamboard theme, you know that if you don't have the application that um, it's supposed to be specified for, nothing will happen. But uh, also, if you don't use the regular Messages app, if you use something like By SMS, which um, is a separate application, and that's, your, and that's what you want for your default messages, um, it's very easy to change the launch address. Now what you do need to have is iFile. So to do what I'm going to talk about, you do need to go into iFile. And um, first I'm going to show you how to change it. And then I'm going to show you how to find the launch address for specific applications. So first to change whatever you want to... Um, change the launch address for, you need to go into your Dreamboard folder. Now you can find this in two places, in either in the root folder for your entire phone or the VAR mobile applications. So it would be root VAR mobile um, and then go to your library and it should be there as well. So once you find the Dreamboard folder, you just go inside and for whatever theme that you're changing, select that. And there should be um, either a current, a theme list, or um, both. So what usually um, you have to change is the current plist. But some don't have the current dot plist. Um, they just have the theme plist. So you'll be changing the same thing. But if it has a current, usually it's that. Um, that specific plist. You need to open it up in Text Viewer. And then you need to go down and find um, something that says Bundle ID. You're looking for a line that says Bundle ID. Underneath it will have um, a string and it'll show the launch address for various different applications depending on what it's um, corresponding to. What you need to find is the launch address for the specific application that you're changing. So, let's see, I'm changing the mobile SMS. Now you need to be in edit mode. Okay. So, I'm changing this to the by SMS. Or, no, actually I don't really know what the launch address for that is, but um, let me see. Okay, I'm going to just do something really weird, but uh, I'm going to change the Facebook launch address to my TweetBot application. So, um, the line that you're looking for is string, launch, and then um, it'll be, it'll usually look something like com, dot, um, and then whatever the rest of that application's launch address is. But, uh... I'll see if I can put up a image um, of something similar to what you're looking for. But you're be looking for something that says string launch dot um, com something 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 or rather. Um, but you're gonna need to change that. And once you have that changed, um, you will respring. So, excuse me for taking a little while. I'm kind of a bad typer. But, uh, once you have that changed, I don't know if you can see that, um, I'm going to leave a picture of something similar um, at the very end of this video. But, once you change that in your plist, go ahead and exit out of file, um, iFile, and you need to respring your device. And you can do this via SB settings or various different things, but if you don't know how to respring via SB settings, it's right here. So it should be the second one from the right, right next to power. So you're going to respring your device, and the um, change should take effect as soon as um, your phone comes back up. But once it comes back up, I'm going to show you how to find an application's launch address.
So this is going to take a little bit. Um, I have a lot installed on my phone. But, um, once you have it up and ready to go, um, just test it out. So, I believe I changed the Facebook. And obviously it launches my TweetBot application just like I set it up to. So to find your application that you're looking for, to find its launch address, you go into iFile, and uh, your application will either be located in the regular VAR mobile um, applications folder, or it can be located in the root folder under that application folder. So you need to look. Um, first, I recommend looking in the VAR mobile applications. Usually you find most of them there. So if it's in the VAR mobile applications folder, usually it's just um, the applications folder. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, usually it's just the name of that application. So if I was going to change something with the Angry Birds launch address, you need to go to that application's dot .app folder. So you're going to be looking for a dot .app folder either way, but um, in the VAR mobile applications, usually it's just uh, just the name of the application. And if you're looking in the root folder, usually it'll go ahead and just show you the dot .app folder, as you can see here. So let me give you an example with the calculator app. You're going to go in the dot .app folder. You're going to look for something that says um, info.plist. And that is the plist that you need to edit. So, open it up in Text Viewer. And you're going to be looking for the line that says CF um, Bundle Identifier. It should be at the very top somewhere. Um, there's a whole lot of CF Bundle something. You're going to be looking for the line CF Bundle Identifier. Right underneath that should be a string, and it should say something like dot com, or com dot, and the rest of the launch address. Now again, it's going to be right underneath C bundle, or CF Bundle Identifier. That's the line that you're looking for. So um, if you want to do a search, the exact thing that you can type in there is um, this... I believe it's the greater than sign, key, the less than sign, and then capital C, capital F, um, capital B for bundle, and then the capital I for identifier. So you can just stop there. You don't have to write the rest of that out. So you're going to be looking for that one. And it should bring you to CF Bundle Identifier. And right underneath that, again, is the launch address. So that's what you're going to use to change the launch address for um, whatever you want to go to. So again, I'm going to leave some images up to um, at the very end of this video to kind of give you an idea of what you're looking for. But that is how you change the launch address for whatever you want. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I will answer them as best I can. And if you found this um, video helpful, please like it.